Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how Classics integrated NDI into its applications. Right now you're seeing the LifeBoard user interface. LifeBoard is our main graphics layout software. And now I'm going to show you how to set NDI as an output. I go into Preferences and select Video. I can set the resolution here. I'll just leave it at the usual HD. In Device, I can select NDI Network Device Interface. If I press OK, anything that's being played out by my LifeBoard will be played out in NDI. I can check this by opening my NDI monitor. I'll just select to the right source. And there it is. This is my output. Classx fully supports NDI output. That is video RGB plus alpha at 32 bit and also the multi-channel audio. The device name is automatically generated. Moreover, TriCustom macro and messaging are fully supported, so LifeBoard can be controlled also from there. So let's see now how Classx applications use NDI sources. I go into the Preferences and open the NDI Source Manager. I have 10 different channels here and I can assign an NDI source to each one of these. I will open now the NDI Multiview panel that will show me all the channels that have been assigned to a source. Here in NDI 4, for instance, I can see my own output that has been set as an input. I will assign now an NDI source to NDI 5. I right-click on this name and will set VLC from my own computer since I have a VLC NDI source playing out from my computer here. We support field mode and interlaced NDI sources, multi-channel audio and real-time audio resampling for adapting and mixing audios having different sample rates. So let's see now how to use the NDI sources for creating live board contents. I will select a plugin. Here I have the NDI source plugin. Now I have created a button and if I push it, I will simply send on air its content. I can adjust the visual priority and by moving it on the positioning panel I can resize it and shift it, position it in real time wherever I want to. Here in the settings I can assign the channel that I want to play out. On the fly I can change it, for instance to channel 3. If I select channel 4 where I had my own output set as an input, I will create this very strange gallery effect. Now I'm going to stop these two contents and I'll show you what I prepared in the first content grid here. I have put this NDI source in full screen mode simulating a live NDI source. By pressing this script button I'll start a full Bloomberg over it. So I get this nice effect of live graphics over an NDI source. Thanks for your attention. Next time we're going to see how to set NDI sources as textures in order to use them in our graphics templates editors. See you in the next video tutorial by Classics.